Hey, all you nerds out there. Warning. Like with most of my videos, yes, slimes were harmed in the making of this content. So for all you slime lovers out there, turn away quick, because today we're going to be reaching into the nethers and ripping out some slime souls. How do we make this happen? First, you need to design your characters, or use some already designed characters. If you're in love with these graphics, check out down in the description for a link to some more by these artists. We, however, will be looking into the second requirement, the interaction of two different object variables. This video will quickly show you how to create two objects, give them each their own instance variables, then we'll call them in an event, the attack, to find out how much damage is dealt. Let's do this. We're going to start out with a double click, which will pull up our objects and we'll click on Sprite. Once Sprite selected, you can click anywhere on the screen and this will open up the Sprite Editor. Once the editor is open, I can go ahead and drag over the files that I have downloaded with my sprites. Click on the one we want and here we're just going to do a single one, no animation. We'll hit close and then we have our first object. We can name it and we'll repeat all that for the second object. And for this other object, I will go ahead and open up an old project and we'll copy that image and we can go ahead and paste that in. And now we have our slime. Feel free to keep your characters small, but for your sake, I am going to enlarge mine. Come back into the editor and we'll hit resize up top. Since we are working with pixel art, we're going to want to keep these in multiples of two. So it's going to go to 280 and then 560. And I have keep aspect ratio on, so that's going to do the same exact thing to the height. And we can hop out and we can see he's nice and large. I'll move him back on the screen there. And we'll do the same thing for the slime. And we're looking at 52, 104. There we go, now we have some visible objects. All right, now we need to add instance variables. These variables allow us to hold different values on each of our objects. With these values, we can figure out how much damage that we're gonna end up doing. In this case, since the slime is the one taking damage, we'll give him an HP to track his max HP and a cur HP to track his current life at any given point. And then the last variable for our slime will be resistance, and this will just be how much reduced damage he's gonna be taking. Next, our caster, which will be our damage dealer, we'll need a variable to track how much damage he does. And we'll be setting this to 35 to start. Next, we're gonna need a way to show that damage is happening. So we'll go ahead and create a text object and we'll bump the size up on this so it is visible. And last, we'll need a button to simulate the attack. And we'll go ahead and give it a better name as well as set the text to attack. That way we know the button is for attacking. And finally, we're ready to have our objects interact. So let's open the event sheet. And our first event will symbolize our attack. Our condition will be triggered upon button attack is clicked. And this event's goal is to reduce the life of our slime. So our action object will be slime and our slime action will be subtract from. The top tab here will let us choose which variable to edit on our slime, which we're gonna use current HP. And the value tab is where we're gonna need our equation for how much health the slime is going to lose. If you struggle figuring out how to create equations, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and create you a new video for it. But for this case, our equation, we want our caster's magic attack multiplied by 100 minus our slime's resistance and then all of this divided by 100. So here we'll be doing 35 damage multiplied by 75 divided by 100 or 35 multiplied by 0.75. We will cast this with an int, which in construct is the same as floor, aka it rounds down. This way we don't have to deal with any of those pesky decimals. And we'll have one more event. This one will be to show our slime's life. This will be done every tick, meaning it will be updated constantly. And this will affect our text box by resetting the text. Every tick, we're going to want this to say slime health. Then we'll add a new line. And then we'll have the slime's current HP out of or slash slime's total HP. Now, since this is two lines of text, we're going to have to go back to our layout and edit the text size just to make sure there's enough room to show all the text. Otherwise, it'd be hidden. Now we can go ahead and boop our slime. Feel free to go back and edit the object's variables, see how this affects how fast the slime loses life. And if you find this content useful, click that notification button to stay up to date with all my videos. And until next time, peace!